everywhere I go, it seems like I'm the only person in my friend group, workplace, you name it, that have the heart that I have. My heart posture is pure, honest, genuine, authentic. I guess, let's be honest, narcissists don't like that because narcissists hate people that are like that. You see, narcissists hate us, us empaths, because we are pure. They hate our purity. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a beautiful message for you guys about happiness. You see? I did a video about happiness already, but I want to go right into full details about happiness because I realize this journey that I'm on, I realize the people that I work with, they aren't happy at all. I can see it. I can feel it in this spirit. You get me right? And But before I start, I want to just, you know, do a Barbie check-in with you guys. I hope you guys have been having a beautiful weekend so far. It's a long weekend where I am and all that. But I hope you guys have been doing good, you know, you know, just living life and just being happy, truly happy with yourself and you're grateful for where you are and how, the things you have, right? However, let's, let's dig deep. True happiness. You will never find happiness in your bank book. You will never find happiness with your material possessions. You will never find happiness in your bank account. You guys, I want to give you guys a story. Where I work, I work at a restaurant. Fast food restaurant. I'm just doing this for fun right now, okay? This is not my end all be all. You see, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is this. First of all, I'm the only black bitch right there, okay? So that that's that should tell y'all something. The rest, they're the same race, but different from me. However, I realize that these people are not happy. They're on heel. And a lot of them are narcissists. You get me right? Trust me. I've been abused from a narcissist. I've been narcissistically abused so many times. I know what it feels like. I, I know what it I, I, is familiar. You see, it's familiar spirits that I'm working with now. That's why it's easy for me to pinpoint compared to the past. And I don't want to call everyone a narcissist because everyone is not a narcissist. Some people are just on heel, you know? And I'm a heel person. I'm an awakened person. So like an awakened person and an unawakened person, it wouldn't mesh well, right? And I don't want to work it no more. That's the honest truth. Because I can see. You get me right? And I cannot unsee what God showed me. But you know I got to pay them bills, chair. But anyway, chair. Come on. Familiar spirits. And it seems like everywhere I go, Spirits are hopping out of one person and jumping into like body hopping into the next person they meet. They have the spirit of rejection, the spirit of deception, the Jezebel spirit, the incubus, succubus spirit. Oh my God, you guys. You see, I get a level in my spirituality where I can't be blind, blinded anymore. I can see people for who they really are. You see, I isolated myself for so long that God had worked through me. But yes, God hasn't completely working through me yet. He, I'm, you know, I'm a work in progress still. But I'm not foolish. But back to happiness. That's what I'm saying. These people are not happy and they have those types of spirits attached to them. They're very low vibrational. I'm the only, I'm the light there. I'm telling you, I am the light. We all know that light don't mix with the darkness. Light and darkness don't mix. You get me right? It's like trying to mix water and oil together. No, it don't mix at all. But like I said, these people are not happy. Everywhere I go, it's like these people try to Cause like I said, I'm just an employee there. 
every job I have, people always tend to like try to dim my light. You need you you too you you shining too bright. Let me bring you down a notch under the manager because I'm gonna talk about nine to fives too on the next video. But I'm talking about happiness. People see you happy and comfortable and confident. So they have to knock it and kill it and steal it from you. But I'm serious. And before these people really go within to really and really tap into themselves to really see what is really wrong with them. Dig deep within. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Dig deep within yourself and see what is wrong. Get to the root of that problem that is, you know, that is bothering you that you cannot just find happiness. That you got to disrupt other people's peace and other people's happiness. And this goes for anyone in this world. Just not the job. This, this, I'm speaking in general now. There's a lot of people out here in, on this wor in this world that can't find happiness. They think happiness is the things they have or the status they have. That is not happiness. Look at Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson. We just lost another legend, Tina Turner. And there's so many people that I can like name to y'all. Had the money, the fame, the riches, everything. And they still wasn't happy. I'm telling you the truth. Losing the world to gain your soul? To end up dying uncomfortable? Like, is that happiness? But then y'all want to disrupt other people that actually know how to find happiness. That knows how to generate that energy. Everything is energy. Everything is frequencies. Happiness is a frequency. It's an energy. These people cannot generate that type of energy so what they do like for instance a lot of people you know they can generate positive energy they can generate good energy you know my energy is my energy speaks for itself i'm from the divine you get me right they can't generate that these narcissists these you know energy vampires you know these low vibing bitches and niggas they can't generate shit like that they can't generate good energy so what they do they steal it from people like me they steal our energy they want a handout that's what they want and i'd be damn if people want to steal from me all the time but i'm the one that's actually putting in the work you see that's what they do they love to sit back and watch people work and it's this is what i'm saying There's three types of people in this world. People that sit down and do, watchers, and takers. And you see the doers, they got to set boundaries for the takers. And that's what I do at my job now. I set boundaries. I don't talk to nobody. I'm here to do a fucking job and that's it. And they fucking go home. I want no friends, but none of y'all bitches. Not one of y'all. And that's in general too. I want no friends from the white no more because I realize people just love to sit in the background and watch you build and build and then they come and steal. This is why your intentions must be pure at all times. You see, the thing is with me, right? I speak the truth. I don't got to sit down and laugh in your face then come back and be like, oh, hey girl. I'm not that type of person. You see, I speak my motherfucking mind. I speak the truth. I'm the truth like a motherfucking honest bitch. I speak the truth. And how I feel is that I cannot handle these narcissists. I'm sick of them. They need to be put on a in a world of with their own. Let it kill their own. 
Because like I said, another word for narcissist is a demon. Yes, they are. I said it. They're demons. The same way how God has his chosen ones. The same way how God has his earth, has his earth angels and light beings. Yes, the devil has his chosen ones. A bunch of soulless beings. Dark angels, demons. You know, the Bible even mentioned demons in the Bible. You know, they were called fallen angels. Those are the devil children who just, you know, who run around this world ramping and doing fuck shit. So just to steal, kill, and destroy God's chosen ones. It will never work because God gave us the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. I fear no one. Oh, but like I said, yeah, these people are not happy. And they try so hard to steal my happiness and just instill fear in me. But I've got to a point where I've healed so much that I'm not afraid of no one. I'm afraid of no one. God didn't give me the spirit of fear. I'm serious. And it seems like everywhere I go. You see, we talk about, you know, the familiar spirits. However, everywhere I go, it seems like I'm the only person in my friend group, workplace. You name it, that have the heart that I have. My heart posture is pure. Honest. Genuine. Authentic. I guess, let's be honest, narcissists don't like that because... Narcissists hate people that are like that. You see, narcissists hate us, us empaths, because we are pure. They hate our purity. They hate our knowledge. They hate, they hate everything about us. You want to know what? Because they don't possess it and they want it. But little do these narcissists know that they can do the work to become like us. Because we aren't perfect either. However, we, we submit to God. We put down whatever was blocking God. We repent. We saw the light. We repent. Yes, we fall short. Sometimes we are not perfect. But we just wanted a better way out. We wanted to be happier. We wanted... You know, we, we just give up the temptations. We give up those types of things. We give up, we, we give up sin. We give up those bad habits that the narcissist is addicted to. That like I said, we give up the bad habits. We give up, you know, what was hindering us with our what, you know, with Christ. We choose a summit. We choose a better life. And a narcissist don't like that. Remember, a narcissist's worst nightmare is healing. And when you heal and you find true happiness, that's when you defeat the narcissist. Because true happiness comes from within. You see, I did a video. You guys can watch it. You see, when you go within, you will never go without. Or do without. Because all the answers is within you. You just need to tap in. You need to go in. Inwards. Not outwards. You see, but we live in a world where we can't go within sometimes. Because there's so many distractions. Here. There. Fake news. Entertainment. The submarine sinking. That was a whole, you know. You get me right? To cause fear and, you know, all these news and every shit is just a cause. All these distractions is just a cause fear and fear mongering. And I'm not saying that. Don't get me wrong. My sympathy goes out to the family, or whatever. But if you look at it on a deep uh, on a deeper level, you would then see where I'm coming from. Just to cause fear and amounts society to lower the vibration. You, you, you get me right? You guys, trust me. 
cut out the distractions. I was, like I said, I was someone that used to feed into the distractions and the entertainment and the, you know, and the BS and everything. But then it was taken away from my soul and my soul purpose and what I'm, what I'm here to do on this earth. You know, I'm still, like I said, this walk is new for me. I'm still learning. I'm a work in progress. But I don't get distracted anymore like I used to. You know, I had to cut out the distractions and really tap in. Like what Sweetie said. Rich nigga, hey, figure that's my. Well, the song tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. Yeah. We need to tap in and really get to know thyself. Find true happiness. Find it, find it, dig deep, and go in your soul, soul search. Like I said, I'm not perfect. This walk is new for me, but I've done a lot of soul searching that nobody can't tell me who I am. I know who I am right now. I isolated myself for so long and I work on myself through isolation. But like I said, I've awakened and I work around people that haven't awakened. So it's like they want to put me back to sleep. No, not on my watch. It will not happen. I know who I know who I am. I was just supposed to say, I know who the fuck I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. Y'all don't know who y'all are. And y'all are projecting that onto me. But I know who I am. You see, in the past, in the old version of me, y'all could have done that. But not now. So with that being said, you guys, love you guys. Have a beautiful week. Always remember to go within so you will never go without. Peace. Love. I want you guys to always know that happiness comes from within, not without. Go within so you will never go without. Love you guys so much. May God continue to bless each and every single one of you. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video.